secret of the universe had something to do with sex, huh? Hey, maybe do a doctor on that. The physics of love. I think that's more your field, Brian. Uh, not lately. They will boot you out, you know, if you don't decide. I know everybody here who's brilliant. Oh dear. Scientists. Oh, oh you made it. Don't worry, we don't have to stay for long. It's mortifyingly dull. Oh, oh, he's strange. Clipper goes to ban the bomb marches. <laughs> Wild. Jim Wild. Oh, it was David. David? We back in the day. David. 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 What are you? Oh, cosmologist. I'm a cosmologist. What's that? It's a kind of religion for intelligent atheists. Intelligent atheists? Mm -hmm. You're not religious, are you? C of E. Church of England? Yeah. Well, I suppose someone has to be. What do cosmologists worship, then? What do we worship? Mm. One single unifying equation that explains everything in the universe. Really? Yes. What's the equation? That is the question. And a very good question. <laughs> I'm not quite sure yet. But I intend to find out. Then why didn't you stay at Oxford? Because my finals exams are such a shambles that the examiners, they summoned me in from a viva, and they told me that if I got a second... What's a viva? Oh, it's a sort of mildly terrifying face-to-face -face thingy. Like an interview? An interrogation. And I told them that if they gave me a second-class degree, then I would stay with them and do my research at Oxford. But if they gave me the first that I needed to get into Cambridge, then they would never have to see me again. They gave you the first. They gave me a first. Of course. This party is officially deceased. Come on, I fixed you up a ride home. Come on, Jane. Jane. Well, it was lovely to talk to you. Yes. And I hope you find your equation. Yes. Oh. Uh, bye. Bye. Stephen? Oh, 